The last time most people saw former Governor Bob McDonnell, it was going in and out of federal court. Indicted, along with his wife Maureen, on public corruption charges. The case made its way all the way to the Supreme Court. Ultimately, the charges against McDonnell were dismissed. And now, the former governor is rebuilding his life and career. Only on 10, an open and honest interview with Bob McDonnell. Andy Fox joins us now with the story. Tom and Anita, one of the things that is absolutely clear is one of the many things he shared with us, that Bob McDonald's thinking about writing a book. And after what he's been through, there's no doubt he's got a couple of books in him. The title could be Bob McDonald, The Road to Restoration, The Act of Returning Something Himself to a Former Condition. I've been in this business for 33 years. This is the first time I've ever done an interview eating breakfast. <laughs> are, you, are you really serious? Yes. Over breakfast, we asked former Governor Bob McDonald about what he calls his road to restoration. To have the United States Supreme Court unanimously vindicate me and my wife and uh, my family, my state. Restoration continued last September when federal prosecutors dropped charges against the former first couple of Virginia. God has been in the process of restoring uh, many things to my life. I feel a little bit like Job in the Old Testament. Restoration, the former felon, now vindicated, getting back his law license. Well, I'll be doing a little bit of practice, but mostly I'll be hopefully bringing in a little new business to the firm. Now employed at his former law firm, one of his four new business cards, McDonald's business cards, also include consultant with the ESG companies, working on the $350 million Virginia Beach Arena. He guarantees financing secured by March 8th. Business card three, the McDonald Group working with his sister. Business development is uh, the chief one, helping existing businesses find new customers, new markets. And in March, a distinguished professor at Regent University teaching over criminalization of behavior by the federal government. Four new jobs for restoration. He'll also lead Regents, the Governor's Center for the Restoration of Federalism, concerns over balance of power that tips too far towards the federal government, especially in prosecutions like McDonald's. I had governed myself uh, according to state law uh, that I did not violate any of these vague, obscure federal statutes. The U.S. Supreme Court agreed with McDonald. 8 0 decision. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote in McDonald's case, what constitutes official acts were so broad they could cover almost any action a public official takes. McDonald will only say his legal fees in excess of $10 million. I'm going to do my very best to meet my financial obligations to the, to the lawyers. The U.S. Department of Justice has ignored 10 on your side's FOIA request for the taxpayer cost to prosecute McDonald and his wife. Safe to say it's in the tens of millions of dollars. Bob McDonald is deeply spiritual. Did he ever wonder where God was during the dark days of trials and tribulations. Sure I did. Same way his son hanging on the cross said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You know, that's the way I felt the day of the verdict. McDonald says it was God's plan for him to win in the end. Would you ever consider running for public office again? No, because I don't need, uh, I don't need a title or an office to feel vindicated. Many believe had the incident, as McDonald referred to it, not have happened, he would have been the next U.S. president. Yeah, I'm not angry or bitter. I don't wish something would have been different. I think just God's got something else in store for me. McDonald says he voted for Donald Trump, supports most of the new policies, but is concerned. I wish he'd check in his cell phone and not tweet. I wish he'd uh, tone down his tone a little bit and bring people together. As we finished, I asked McDonald, what is the one thing he wants you to know about our community. This is a community that's very encouraging and loving and I just want to say to the people how much I appreciate the personal love and encouragement that I've gotten through these last four years. Bob McDonald, The Road to Restoration. The fact is in a short period of time Bob McDonald has become fully integrated in the community. I asked him about his wife Maureen McDonald but he said it is just something I have to keep personal. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.